Hey, everybody, welcome back to Nuclear Thrones. So today, eh, uh, should we do a crystal run? We have guns, destiny, curses. No way I'm forgetting that shit. Easy, let's do it. So, crystal, we got decent health. We can make and shield. We're very tanky. But the problem is, we need killing potential. We need power, we need weapons, we need some really saucy weapon. Uh, let's try and do something a bit funky today. Let's try and do something a bit unusual. Uh, well, I'm taking the laser pistol now. Unusual will come later on. You know, we'll do the standard. Star. It's got our face on it. We are now scared of your face. Our face is now confirmed. Very scary. Please do not touch me, you maggot bastards. I've had enough of these maggots. Why can't we just find the master weapon to do? What would be a good weapon to do with the maggots? Some lightning weapon, perhaps? A, no a super plasma cannon? Maybe. Now, in the last video, you all did point out I may have missed a Gatling Slugger. But really, at the end of the day, does it really make much of a difference? When you get to listen to me say funny things. Well, I think they're funny anyway. I laugh at myself all the time. You know. You take what you can get. And sometimes it is not. It's not always the time to gattle. Ch YouTube comment section. I almost said chat, but I caught myself. It's not always the time to gattle. Maybe it's mostly the time to gattle, but there's occasionally on the clock. Other days. Other times. I just think yesterday's video was like a different time zone. I'm taking too much damage here if this is not the way to start the run. One, two, three. At least we got the health back twice over. Yeah, yeah, we'll do the turtles again. I like going to the turtles. Someone also asked, do you want to go to the Oasis? Not particularly, but I can on occasion. I got to take what's best for us. And it is the bolt marrow, I'm sorry to say. Because I know I'm getting an all crossbow today. I was promised myself one yesterday and, and it didn't happen. So today, the big plays will happen. The big auto crossbow is coming. And we're going to win. We're going to get to loop seven. We're going to get a score of seven million and the world will be like, wow, you're very good at the game. In my head, that's how it's going to play. What's actually going to happen is we'll get to like loop one, frozen city and die like a chump. So we'll do one of those, grab the slugger so we get a different weapon in the thing, grab the rads. Anyone else? Okay, next mutation in the bag feels good. Health's almost at full. We're looking good. We're looking crystally. Crystalline in nature. Now, do we want the trigger fingers? I mean, yeah, I do want the trigger fingers, like, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, which, uh, maybe? Maybe we take the impact rest for the fun of it. Like, we're, we're going all in on this idea of the auto crossbow again. I'm I'm going hard on it. Hmm. Got him. Going very hard on the idea, but I think it's the best way to play, you know. Have a plan in head and run with the plan. And plus, scare your face, impact rest is always it's a good time. Watch them bounce. None of that. I've had enough of these multi spawns. I mean, yesterday we had a lot of those multi spawns going on the dogs, the salamanders. Group spawning. Very scary. Coming through. We're not oh, not going to the mansion. Explosives. I wonder what it is. What is the weapon? It's the jackhammer. Fair enough. An explosive weapon. Can confirm. So let's try and not take any hits till at least the palace. Right, let's not get hit till the palace. Because we're crystal, we shouldn't really take any hits. What's this all about? It's too many inspectors spoil the broth. I want to hear a lot of those ricochet sounds. And before my dad appears to make a joke about the Irishman called Rick O'Shea. Because that's the kind of stuff he says, you know, he's like, Did you hear about the guy, the Irishman in World War One? His name was Rick O'Shea. Like, I, I just, you're reaching, Dad. You're reaching far and wide for that one. Uh, yes. Because it's a splinter weapon and... We could really make use of a splinter weapon. Hello, fellas. And we can grab the ammunitions. Lovely. Let's get a crown. So we have Destiny, Curses, and the other one. <laughs> What's the other? What other one do we have? Guns? Or something? I don't know, let's do Risk. I don't remember saying Risk, so we'll assume that Risk is the big boy play. Maybe second stomach? Do you know what, actually? Let's try this. I'm trying something a bit funny here with the Super Slunter gun. We never take Eagle Eyes, so the one person who may like Eagle Eyes... Today's your day. I feel confident doing this, because we're not going to take any hits, like I said, you know. 
very firm on this idea of not taking hits. So. I might have made the greatest play of my career by taking the eagle eyes. It's hard to say that I'm shooting thin air, Tom. Not thin air. You have to shoot the dog who is big. It's part of the whole thing. Very good. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. We need some ammo production. We need probably a trigger fingers at this point. But um, our barrage of splinters is going to fuck anyone up, man. One, two. Nice and steady now. Watch this, the lasers. Yeah, like one barrage of that's going to do big work. And I might not even take strong spirit because, as I said, we're not going to take any hits until the palace. On the palace, it's anyone's game, though. You know, it's all to play for. He's doing it. <laughs> He got him in the end. There we go, coming through. Let's try and retain some of these bolts for... The next level seeker pistol, it's attempting. But I'm not gonna... Big health? Or back muscle? Or shotgun shoulders? Large health. Big health. We're gonna go for the biggest health we can possibly get. Which is a terrible idea, because we'll never replenish it in time. You know, when you take the big health... Mutation. Ultra mutation. Um, what usually happens is you end up with, like, five health. And, you know, a lot of health drops come. And you don't really get a lot of ammo. You just die through... But you're not having the ammunitions to carry you. I could take a stress... But then that would require me getting hit, so that would be silly, wouldn't it? It's not... It's not ideal. They used to have electricity. And now they ain't got shit. Now they're just dead. Straight up. This is nice. This is really good. I think the Eagle Eyes here was actually a divine pick. From the gods. Yeah, this is a fast firing weapon, I guess. <laughs> Oh, and it's very good with eagle eyes. Of course, because it's laser precision. Hmm. I hesitated. Hesitation is going to get you killed, Tom. You can't hesitate. Not when you're... Making the big plays. Okay, here it is. What are we going to get? Is it going to be... Yeah. Uh, maybe back muscle. This is a very strange mutation pick from me. It's not my standard fare. Where is he, though? Disagreed. Disallowed. Oh, fuck. Please, decide where you want to die quietly so I can repair what has been broken. I can move on. Mend. We're building up ammo. And the weapon I want to build up ammo in, which is always a delightful situation. Yes, this is good. It's good. We're almost on, on par for the big call out. The no damage until the palace. Okay, this could end in tears. Nightmares. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh! This is this working surprisingly well. I think I've... Uh, going off the beaten path may have actually done me more good than bad. Being so... pig-headed with my mutation choices. Never really... Being stubborn, man. It, it doesn't do you any good. Veering into the unknown can sometimes be the best medicine. For a weary mind. Did we see the rad canister? I can't remember. We did also blow, like, a lot of shit up. Uh, the plants have that effect. One of these days, that's going to be a big health mimic, and it's going to be scary. But until that day, we don't need to worry. So we made it to the palace without taking a hit. I'm a man of my word. We're definitely not... Well, are we, though? Are we? Do I need strong spirit? I'm going to try without. I always take strong spirit. Let's take something that might be helpful, like uh, Pluto.
Because blue always, it's just a nice mutation, suck in the goods. I like this build. I like what's going on. I like what I'm seeing. Let's just farm up a couple of these rads. This is good. We get the ammo that we want from the pack. This place is old. And setting myself small little challenges, like not taking any hits to a certain point, it will make me play better, because I have more to, to live for. You know. I have more reason to try hard. Because sometimes I think I autopilot too much. You know, you fall into that trap of you just do the same thing over and over, and it makes the game stale. You want to have some freshness up in this bitch? <laughs> Most certainly. Grab some of that energy. The throne's going down in three quick tickles. Beautiful. Do you know what I'm most excited for? Loop 1. Because it's going to be fun to see how uh, Impact Wrists, Volt Marrow, the Super, whatever he's called. Maybe we don't even need Trigger Fingers with this. It seems to be fine without. Seems to be fine without. So how do we deal with these? Do we use the splinter gun? I take a drink though, that's for sure. Standard fare. And this time we're not going to take Crown of Blood, we're going to take a different crown. Maybe. I'll see how I feel at the time. One, two, how many barrages? Three, four, five... This seems like a very ammo-efficient way of dealing with things, because it only uses two ammo for one barrage. That's pretty good. I'll have to ask you not to, so... Oh, okay. Easy. Worth noting, still haven't taken a hit, by the way. Living the good life. Our last mutation, the final one to wrap it all up. Uh, maybe second stomach is a good idea. So we get the crown of life, perfect. Mission accomplished. I think we do, yeah, because we have the Pluto, so... We can make big use of those health packs when they come in, because we're going to be getting rid of this crown ASAP. I don't know what, just spam them down now. Easy. Alright, can I get through loop 111 without taking any damage? The big test. The hardest test. The challenge of a lifetime, I have to say. Okay, need to be careful though. I don't know when the last time I got a rad canister was. It could be spooky. Look at this raw, raw power. The pot the killing potential is is insane. Who's this guy? What does he want? This is fine. He might be behind me. But now oh, we've taken damage, it's all over. Is it though? <laughs> it's a lot of health. Oh, I'm not taking it, but what I will do though, because it makes sense to do so, is we're going to put this in the, the chest. Because, you know, an ultra shovel in the chest, that could be a good YV run coming up, you know? It's, uh, the potential is huge. Massive. Gigantic. Ginormous. Thank you for the free ammo, idiot. Okay, I'm doing Crown of Blood, you can't stop me. Am I, though? Ammo chests only? Yeah! Let's do Crown of Love. 
seems like a swell idea. Like I'm I'm pandering so hard. This is none of this is what I want to do. I want to take Crown of Blood and die honorably. But I'm sitting here with a Crown of Blood like an idiot. But that's I mean a Crown of Life. But that's fine. You know. Sometimes you gotta pander. You gotta throw in the odd curveball now and again. You know. Let people know you're listening. The ammo situation is starting to fall a little flat, I must say. Oh well. Well, that remedies that then pretty quick. <laughs> Beautiful. Would I switch for an auto crossbow? Probably. Have I seen one yet? Maybe. I've not been paying attention, but. For now, we're gonna stick. Oh my god. We're gonna stick hard to our, our guns. Literally the guns that we have. Why are you so aggressive this week? Mum, mother. Did I miss Mother's Day or something? Oh my god. I was hoping for a free passage to the, the turtles, but that's fine. Seems good. Let's have a quick deck around and see. Is there any auto crossbows? Maybe. Where are my three chests that I was promised? One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Mimic sassy, how it is. Alright. Let's go for another thousand kills. Let's keep the, the kill count climbing. Oh, we're getting so much health. Beautiful. The real test is going to be when we get to the Frozen City territory. And really just having the, the, the laser uh, minigun just to fucking spam down shit is, is always a good thing. Perfect. Making the picks that work for you. You know? Like, would I have taken this where we to have the eagle eyes? Did we have eagle eyes first or did we have... I don't know if we did. It certainly opened up the opportunity for us though. Is that bandit dead? I can't tell. He was being a sneaky boy. Like, ammo, like, to the brim, always. Ooh. Okay, so much for not taking any damage, but, you know, we're, we're alive, and that's the important thing in life. Making the huge plays where they lie, finding them, seeking them out, hunting them down. I can't abide by this. Death to all who have swords and armor who identify as police officers come on up you get big dog let's fucking let's throw down nap time's over big boy I hate to hear the sound of a mimic because it means I'm missing ammo my precious precious ammo I'm tempted, but I'm going to stick with what we have because it's been working so far, so, you know. Why switch what's working? Really, I think the real test of Loot 1 is the Frozen City, though. Like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Convinced that the Frozen City separates the men from the, uh... The boys, as they say. Separates the grown-ups from the children. Would be a more politically correct way to go about it, but... Here we are, making things die in a video game. The happiest you can possibly be. I'm only satisfied in my day if I've killed at least 1,000 things in a video game, you know? Right. Now, we've had some issues with the crystal wench. Crystal wench. But if we just take out the smaller ones, 
and then go in big. I'm sorry, I can't. I I'm gonna go back, right? We're gonna do the double. We're gonna do the double. Remember, bear in mind, if one of these things touches me, I'm dead. We're gonna do two bolt weapons. We're gonna do auto crossbow. And we're gonna do the super splinter gun. I think it's the right thing to do. Now, I did just say... Sticking to the plan was the best idea, but things change. You know, you have to be adaptable in this world. In this harsh environment, you have to be adaptable. You have to bob and weave through all the choices. So we've got, like, a heavy-hitting big boy killer. And, you know, the small one-tapper. We might make a change. I might decide that this was the wrong idea. But the amount of ammo we're seeing, you know, we're looking good, we're feeling good. I disagree with all of the fish. I feel like our killing potential just went up like a hundred times. And you love to see it. I mean, look at this. Ammo is holding full. Fast and true. Full health. It's working. I mean, this is the real moneymaker. Over a thousand kills feels good. The real moneymaker is this level because you've got the golden tanks. The piss tanks. He's getting pushed. No cars. No dogs. No dogs allowed. I think this is a fucking barn. A barn. The dogs live in the barn? No, Tom. Why not, though, you ask? I'm not sure I don't decide these things. Ask a farmer. I think you keep cows in a barn. Were you born in a barn? That's what people say when you don't close doors. I don't understand that, though. Do barns typically have open doors all the time? Because I've seen barn doors, and those fuckers are huge, and they're usually closed to the outside. I'm not trying to start up any shit with, you know... The farming community, but, you know, we need to get a couple of things straight. We need to... Ask. You know, because information is king in this world. Knowledge is power. Money is power. Uh, lifting big heavy things is also power. Don't do it. He didn't do it. Right. The next name on the checklist. Little Hunter. Uh, it's a horrible arena. Is it though? Maybe not. It is. It's actually the worst. Actually the worst. Like, uh, nowhere to fight him. No safe space. You hate to see it. But it's fine. We got one crown. It was a fun one. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. All the usual good stuff. And I, of course, I'll see you next time.